Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between single point and multi point cutting tool. Cutting tool or cutter is a wedge shaped device that compresses the workpiece material during machining to gradually remove excess material by shearing in order to obtain desired shape, size, and accuracy. As the name suggests, a single point cutting tool contains only one main cutting edge, while multi point cutting tool contains more than two main cutting edges. So, let's look into the basic differences between single point and multi point cutting tool in a tabular form. Difference number one single point cutting tools contain only one main cutting edge in the cutter body, whereas, multi point cutting tools contain more than one, even up to hundreds, cutting edges in the cutter body. Number 2. While machining with single point cutting tool, only one main cutting edge continuously remains in contact with workpiece, whereas, while machining with multi point cutting tool, more than one cutting edges simultaneously engage in material removal action in a pass. Number 3. Chip load per tooth is usually high in single point cutting tools, whereas, due to presence of multiple cutting edges, effective chip load per tooth reduces. Number 4. Since one cutting edge continuously remains in contact with the workpiece, so rate of heat generation and subsequent rise in tool temperature is high, whereas, due to successive engagement and disengagement, heat dissipates from the cutter when it is not in contact with workpiece. Consequently rate of rise in tool temperature is low. Number 5. In case of unplanned breakage of cutting edge of single point cutting tool, entire process is required to pause until the broken tool is replaced by a new one, whereas, if one cutting edge breaks, cutting action can be continued using other cutting edges without much problem. Number 6. Design and fabrication of single point cutting tools are easier, whereas, design and fabrication of multi point cutting tools are quite difficult. Number 7. Usually low feed rate and depth of cut is employed when machining is carried out with single point cutting tools. Accordingly, material removal rate and productivity are low, whereas, higher feed rate can be employed when machining is carried out with multi point cutting tool. This increases material removal rate and productivity. Accordingly, machining operation becomes economic. Number 8. Examples of single point cutters include, turning tool, shaping tool, planing tool, slotting tool, boring tool, fly milling cutter, etc., whereas, examples of multi-point cutters include, milling cutters, hobs, brooch, grinding wheels, reamer, knurling tool, etc.